by using this JSX, we are getting rid of this react.create element. But we are still confused that what magic this Babel and JSX sprinkle over React.js so that it render the HTML tag. For that, I will take you to the Babel compiler. So I will say Babel compiler. On this Babel compiler, you will get the first result and I can go on that first result and not on this one actually. So REPL, this one is the Babel compiler. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to first see how this div is actually converted into something useful. So whenever I type div here, you can see we have just written div with, with no text inside it. Now it is actually doing a very magical thing which is actually not magical it's just converting it into react.create element and remember we have created the h1 tag or a span tag using react.create element and defining the type that is h1 then properties or prop as null and some uh, children so we have created uh, the div tag with no prop props and no children so there is no prop and no children the third argument is null what if i provide the children so i say hello babel and now you can see the third argument is added as a babel like, like hello babel what if i want to provide this hello babel as a children so children is hello babel so you can see the second argument which was previously null previously null it is now converted into a simple object and that object is having children as a hello babel okay so that is very very interesting so what if i want to see how babel convert this div h1 and span into a react create element I'm just going to paste these things here and it doesn't matter if you give any indentations so here you can see what it is doing it is saying react dot create element okay creating the div so first it is creating the div then because this div doesn't have any prop we are not defining any prop so it says null but then this div is holding all the h1 then it is creating the react.create element of h1 tag now since h1 tag is also doesn't have any prop so it says null but this h1 is holding this span tag so again it is using react.create element of creating the span once again the span doesn't have any prop but this span has a children as a third argument of hello jsx so here we have a hello jsx so you have seen that it is very very easy to create this kind of a structure using react.create element but it is not so efficient while you are coding while you are maintaining your code so we are using this jsx so from now i'm not going to use react.create element and you need to just forget it but you will say sarthat if we need to forget the react.create element so why you have uh, explained all these things because it is very important to know how everything works inside your react elements so how jsx work how react create element how the prop work how the children work everything is very very important concepts so you need to know all these things so that's why I have explained everything to you. So this is how JSX is converted into a simple React.create element.